Aloha, Detroit. It feels good to say that. On March 9th, 1964, at the Ford Motor Company in Dearborn, the first Ford Mustang rolled off the assembly line. But on that very same day, just a few miles away, at Mount Carmel Mercy Hospital in Detroit, I also rolled off the assembly line. And proudly, we are both made in Detroit. <laughs> Today, I want to talk to you about three ideas that have inspired me in my career and guided me in the making of Lava, the film you just saw. The first idea is reinvention. I've been at Pixar now for 18 years. And in that time, I've been able to reinvent myself many times by animating a new character or taking on a leadership role within the studio. But most recently, in my last leadership role, I was feeling unsatisfied creatively. And I knew what I really wanted to do was direct a short film. So when I decided to pitch short film ideas, I had two goals for myself. The first was to create stories about things I really, really love and I could connect with emotionally. And the second was to pour my heart and soul into all my ideas. And the inspiration for Lava began 25 years ago, when my wife Kathy and I, who's here today, honeymooned on the Big Island in Hawaii. And ever since then, I've been in love with tropical islands, active volcanoes, and Hawaiian music. And I'll never forget the first time I heard Israel Kamakavevole sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I was so moved and inspired by his performance that I thought to myself, what if I could write a song that makes me feel the way that song does and feature it in a Pixar short film. So that's what I set out to do. And the first thing I did was take my family on vacation back to the Big Island where my love affair with Hawaii all began. And on the day we arrived, we took a helicopter tour of the great active volcano Kilauea. The next day I convinced my family to make the long drive up to Hilo so that I could buy this Kamaka ukulele. And I'm so glad I did, because this is the ukulele I actually play on the soundtrack for Lava. But on the last day, I made this incredible discovery. While I was walking through a shopping mall in Kona, I came across this diorama of the five volcanoes that make up the Big Island. And as I got closer and closer, I saw this tiny little sign on the bottom of the seafloor that read Loihi. Well, I found out that Loihi is actually an underwater volcano that's estimated to reach the surface and join the Big Island in the next 10,000 to 100,000 years. This absolutely blew my mind. So when I got home, I did more research and I found this diagram on the life history of the Hawaiian Islands. Right around the time I was contemplating all this, my sister, Molly, was getting married at the age of 43. And as Molly stood up there on the altar, I thought about how happy she was and how long she'd waited for this very special day. And it was at that moment that I had an epiphany. <laughs> what if my sister Molly was a volcano? <laughs> and what if volcanoes spend their entire lives searching for love, like humans do? And so for the next eight months, I worked with our development group, creating the story and writing the song for Lava. And when it came time for me to pitch to John Lasseter, I sculpted this first image of our main character, Uku, and I stood up there with this ukulele that I just bought in Hawaii, and I sang this song. Let's see if we're Are we on? A long, long time ago, there was a volcano 
living all alone in the middle of the sea. He sat high above his bay, watching all the couples play, and wishing that he had someone too. And from his lava came this song of hope that he sang out loud. Every day for years and years I have a dream I hope will come true That you're here with me And I'm here with you I wish that the earth, sea, and the sky up above uh, Will send me someone to love The second idea I want to share with you is successful failure. We're all very, very well aware of the wisdom of the idea that we actually learn more from our failures and our mistakes and our successes. Let me show you how failure helped us succeed on lava. Very early on in the story, we were really struggling with how to introduce our main character. Because he's a giant mountain made out of solid rock, we were struggling to figure out what he could do to convey to the audience who he was and what he wanted. So in an effort to get ourselves out of this creative rut, we brainstormed three ideas or three possibilities of who our main character could be. The first one was called Loner Uku. In this one, he's a lonely volcano in the middle of the sea until one day a female whale visits him. She smiles at him and blows water at him flirtatiously. He smiles and blows smoke back at her flirtatiously. <laughs> but unfortunately, another whale arrives, and as the two whales swim away together, they leave a heart-shaped wake in their pet. In their... The second one is called Uku the Matchmaker. In this one, he's a groovy-looking tropical island paradise for couples <laughs> who delights in making sure that everyone around him has a partner, like this pair of breaching whales, these ancient sea turtles, but wait, what's this, a bird without a partner? He looks all around himself until he finds another bird without a partner, and happily, he's able to bring these two lovebirds together. Finally, in Uku the Dreamer, he's a daydreaming tropical island paradise, until a dolphin drops by and invites him to join her for a swim. But of course he can't join her for a swim, because everyone knows volcanoes can't swim. So as the two dolphins swim away together, Uku imagines himself as a dolphin and swims with the dolphin. Then he imagines himself as a bird flying with another bird. And finally, as a cloud floating high in the sky with another cloud. Now, these are ridiculous ideas, but when I pitched them to John Lasseter, he actually stopped me halfway through my pitch and said, stop, 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 stop. Look, Jim. Just make your main character lovable, OK? I love these cloud characters. I think they're adorable. But the volcano flirting with the whale, that's creepy. <laughs> so unfortunately, I left this meeting feel like I had totally failed and I was totally humili humiliated. But this actually turned out to be the best review I ever had with John, as many of these ideas ended up in the final film. Finally, the last idea I want to talk to you about is collaborative inspiration. You see, filmmaking is a team sport. And my job as the director is to inspire and provide a singular vision of the film I want all the artists on my team to make. One of the big challenges we had on Lava was to create characters that were believable and appealing as both a character and a place. And in order to do this, I knew that I had to pick very specific places in Hawaii for our artists to use as reference in their designs. So here's our uh, sculpt of Uku, and you can see the places that inspired his design. And by collaborating and inspiring, inspiring each other on this film, we were able to create a character that I wish and I hope that I'll be able to go visit someday. 
So Detroit, spread the word. We have to take chances and reinvent ourselves. We have to learn from our failures and we have to inspire others with our ideas. But most importantly, we have to pour our heart and our souls into everything we do. Thank you very much for having me here today. Cheers.